Guten Tag Observer and welcome to my let's play of Mountain Blade Warband. Um, this is a game I started playing a long time ago. Well, not too long ago, probably about last year or so. And I really liked it, so I decided I'd do a let's play of it. Welcome adventurer to Mountain Blade Warband. Before beginning the game, you must create your character. Remember that in traditional medieval society depicted in the game, war and politics are usually dominated by male members of the nobility. That does not, however, mean that you should not choose to play a female character. Yeah, disclaimer, I'm a guy. Okay. This is one thing I like about the game, that it starts off, you make your own little backstory, and I, I like that. I wish more games would like that. Okay. You were born years ago in a land far away. Your father was a veteran warrior who was injured. As a child, your family scrapped out a meager living from your father's wages as a guardsman to the local lord. It was not an easy existence, and you were too poor to get much of an education. You learned mainly how to defend yourself on the streets, with or without a weapon in hand. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could w walk and talk. You spent your early life as a craftsman's apprentice. I was going to be a smith. As a boy growing out of childhood, you apprenticed at the local craftsman to learn a trade. After years of hard work and study under your new master, he promoted you to journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman for as long as you wished to stay. Then as a young adult, your life changed, as it always does. You became a squire. I decided to go into my father's footsteps. Though the distinction f felt suddenly to you, Oh, though the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you became a man, and the whole world seemed to be ch seemed to change around you. When you were named squire at a noble at court, you practiced long hours with weapons, learning how to deal out hard knocks and how to take them too. You were instructed in your obligations to your lord and of your duties to those who might one day become your vassals. But in addition to learning the sh chivalric idea you also learned about the less uplifting side old warrior stories about the ruthless power politics of betrayals and usurpations of men who would use guile as well as valor to achieve their aims but soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer what made you decide thus a loss of a loved one only you know exactly what caused you to give up your old life and become an adventurer. All you can say is that it, you couldn't bear to stay, not with the memories of those you loved so close and so painful. Perhaps your new life will let you forget, or honor the name that you can no longer bear to speak. Become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. Okay, what will be the game-saving policy? Normally, I choose a uh, realistic. However, since this is a let's play, and there are many glitches that could arise, not only from the game, but from the recording software and such, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, allow me to quit without saving, just so I can backtrack. Okay, so let us enter a name. <laughs> Okay, the name for this character is going to be Ulfstein Rembrandt, as usual. Oops, forgot the uppercase. Okay, so, Ulfstein Rembrandt. He's going to be a smart leader. Let's put some s smartness in there. I might change that down a little bit. Okay, so, he's got some leadership skills. That's good. He also is good at tactics. Let's bring that up. Okay. He's not that great at tracking, but we'll go ahead and add that. Athletics and sh shield needs to go up. Athletics needs to go up. How many points do I have left? Two. Let's see. I also need engineering. And I want persuasion. Okay, that looks good. Um, let's increase his one hand weapon and his pole arm. Okay, here we go. Adjust your face through buttons and sliders. I wish I could do that with real life. Okay, that looks horrible. He needs a beard. 
Every man in medieval times needs a beer. Oh, yeah, the game's in medieval times, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Okay, his skin might be okay. Let's change that hair to something less raggedy. That looks kind of cool. Now it doesn't. Okay. We don't want him to look so dirty. That is kind of ridiculous. Look at that. Okay, we're definitely not going with that one. That looks kind of cool. If I do say so myself, but I'm probably going to go with long hair. Possibly. That looks decent, actually. Yeah, let's go back a few since we started over. <laughs> Guess I'll go with this one. Okay, yeah, he looks okay. I wish his eyes were a little bit better. I'm not going to spend too much time. Okay, you hear about Caldaria. A land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy. A haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers alike. All willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, or glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may leave your past behind and start a new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your destiny in your hands, free to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, great adventures will await you. Drawn by the stories you hear about Caldara and its kingdoms, you take a ship to Sagath in the kingdom of the Nords. So basically, I'm thinking in mind that my character is returning to his homeland. He took passage with a trading longship. Oh, that's cool. Carrying gr graphite. Uh, Gerfalcons from the furthest reaches of the north to the be bartered for linen and wool. It sailed early in the season, but the master reckoned that the risks of drifting ice and later winter storms could be justified by arriving ahead of the sea raiders, who by April would be sailing forth from their island lairs to ravage Caldaria's coasts. It was some relief when the ship came sight of the delta of the Vile and... Burk Rivers, and a short while later rode past the tidal flats and coastal marshes to the city of Sagath, home to the Sea Raiders' dinst distant kinsmen, the Nordic Lords, who a few generations ago had carved themselves a kingdom in the rich but troubled land. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Sagath and fall asleep quickly, However, you awake before dawn and are eager to explore your surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scalpel. Okay, what do we have here? A man running full force into me? Okay, it said he was... Uh, a blade coming from Scalbert, but obviously he's shooting arrows at me. Okay. Ah! What the? Okay, what's going on here? There we go. Dude. That was actually really bad. Um <laughs> Nordic Shield. Are you alright? Well I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure what we can say the same about the fellow over there. That's one less thief to trouble the, our streets at night, although heaven knows he won't be the last. Anyway, you can help me with something. Let's talk more inside. Out here, we don't know who's listening. Okay. Okay, I don't... I don't know. Ah. 
The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, checking the street. And then finally, convinced you have not been followed, comes near to you to speak. That was kind of mischievous. Now, let me explain my proposition. We've always had brigands in the hills, driven to Bantry by war, debt, or love, or violence. Recently, however, they've been getting bolder. Leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unweary prey. The watch commander tells us it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers. Fewer men to keep an eye on the streets. But I'm not sure what, what to make of that. It seems to me that the most logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside the walls who helps them enter unnoticed and helps them identify particularly attempting targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from the, a prominent house, out alone after dark in times like these? He, he reminds me of Littlefinger. How can you trust a flaring mustache like that? Well, I suppose you were, you were there, too. But you were a stranger here, and didn't know how bad things have come, or I'm a badass. That's all I have to say. He had no excuse, but he's family, so what can you do? If you don't protect your kin, then people will start thinking that you can't protect your investments, either. And I can't have that. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I don't care to pay for it. Well, then you're an evil person. Or, sending me out to go get him is, I guess, makes up for that. So here's my proposition. You look like you've a bit of experience with a blade. And more importantly, you must have a bit of fire in your belly. Or you wouldn't be coming to Calderia to speak your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, and get my brother back safe. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude and a bit of silver. What do you say? I'm interested. You won't be able to do this by yourself, though. If you try and take on a whole gang single-handedly, the hunter will become the hunted. I'll warrant. You'll f first want to ground up a troop of volunteers. Round up. There's always a few lads in villages around here looking for a bit of work. That's more interesting than tilling the soil or hauling water. They'll follow you f around f if you pay. So, take this purse of a hundred denarius. Consider it an advance on your reward. Go round up the villages and use the money to hire some help. I'll reckon that you need at least five men to take on these bandits. Very good, sir. I'll, con I'll collect some men from around the villages. Good. You can find me again in the tavern here in Sagoth after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what to do next. Okay. So now I have to go to villages. Okay, normally I'd go over here to Quinn, but that's you. Oh, okay, I'm safe. Thank goodness. Usually there's sea raiders right across that bridge. And if you go to uh, Ken first, you just end up getting enslaved your first few minutes. So... Okay, we got one recruit. That's horrible. Okay, let's get over here. I have a horse. <laughs> I think there's another person over here. Another town, rather. Hello, Venata. Six lords. There we go. Let's return to Sagath and talk to our main man in the tavern. Eight men. <gasps> There's a tournament. Let us torn. Okay. You are at tier one of the tournament with 64 contestants remaining. I can't read. Sometimes it substitutes words, I guess. In the next round, there'll be three teams with four fighters each. This usually is bad. Please bet on myself. I'll bet... 20 denarii. Go ahead. Okay, let's do this. Okay, I have an axe. I can deal with an axe. 
You see. I were you not entertained? Victory is yours. You have won this melee, but you now must prepare yourself for the next round. You are at tier two of the tournament, with 32 participants remaining. Oh man, that got my adrenaline pumping. Let's go with 10. Go ahead. Fight in the next round. Please don't give me a bow. Okay, this I can deal with. So far, this is stupid. Okay. Which way do I have it? Okay. This is bad. Actually, I need to get better with those. Okay, 16 participants remaining. There'll be four teams with two fighters each. This is going to be kind of bad. Go for it. Please don't give me a bow. Okay, I can do with this. I do best with the eggs. Yes. This is not good. They gotta be weak, though. Oh, victory. Let's finish here. Lays bet on myself. Let's go with 20. Go ahead. Round four, eight participants remaining. One fighter each. Where's the other guy? Oh, they're all coming to me. Right this way. Yes. Come at me, man. That one wasn't that bad. Okay, two on two. I probably just lost all my money if I don't win this. Okay. You're going too fast, bro. Of course. I thought that was the end. Two participants. Me versus somebody. It's all on me now. All my money. And I've got a good weapon. Victory is mine. You have won the Tournament of Sagath. You are filled with pride as the crowd cheers your name. In addition to honor, fame, and glory, you earn a prize of 200 dinars. Moreover, 
You earned 626 dinars from the clever bets you placed on yourself. You are also invited to attend the ongoing feast at the castle. In which I will do so. Yeah, they're indifferent to me. Time to go to the castle. Make myself known to the Lord Liege. Talk to the ladies. You must be Ulfstein Rembrandt. We had just had the honor of watching you distinguish yourself in the recent tournament. May I have the honor of knowing more about you, my lady? I'm Sister Dial Eric. I'm here for the feast. I would like to profess myself your most ardent admirer. Okay, no. I must leave. Farewell. Who all is here? Ah. You must be an old Stein Rembrandt. We just had the honor of watching you. I'd l may I have the honor of knowing more? I'm the sister to Jarl Lagerson. I'm here for the feast. I'll go ahead and do that. Thank you. Your most kind relationship with Lady Elfrond. Zero to four. Farewell. Y'all get it. Let's see what he has to say. Kingdom of the Nords and Lord of Firenen. You look like a good sort of boy. Let us lift a flag in a mead in health to our coast king. Just trying to get acquainted with the lords and ladies of the realm. Lady Burgett. I do say, you look f unfamiliar. My name is Ulfstein Rembrandt at your service. Huh. Did you not see that I just won a tournament? Apparently she didn't, but that's okay. I'm S Sister Dial Heda. I'm here for the feast. Okay. Who are you? Yarl Grundblatt? I'm a vassal of Kingdom of the Nords, Lord of Farishin and Quinn. Okay. Peace to you. Always remember to temper your valor with mercy. I like that guy. I might work for him. Gerlad. Okay. Who's this? Surion. At your service. They look like a good sort. All these people seem like good people. I think I might want to help this guy, though. Do I know you? Uh, my name is Ulfstein Rembrandt. I am the king, the ruler of the Nords, and lord of Sagath. You may be of common birth, but know that I am always looking for good men to fight for me, if they can prove themselves to be of worthy of my trust. Lord, do you have anything that needs to be done? I have something you could help me with. I have an issue with the lawless villain known as Reichard Star-Eyed. He's murdered one of my men and has been on the run from his judgment ever since. I cannot let him get away with avoiding justice, so I put a bounty of 300 denarii on his head. Friends of a murderer, man reckon that this assassin may be taking refuge with his kinsman at Osan. You'll be able to hunt him down and give him what he deserves and claim the bounty for yourself. Then I'll hunt him down and execute the law. Okay, so basically, right now, I'm just a nobody, really. I just gained some fame through the tournament and had the opportunity to, to meet the lords of the realm, which is kind of what anybody would like to do, really. Okay, so I'm going to visit the tavern, talk to the merchant, and get on my way to the next part of the quest. Belligerent drunk, what are you looking at? Excuse me, please accept my apologies. I'll wipe that smirk right off your face. Will you now? Ugh. There we go. Come at me, bro. Yeah, you back off, mate. 
say he started it that entitles you to his sword and purse i suppose have a drink on the house as i dare say you've saved a patron or two a broken skull still i hope he still has a pulse it's not good for an establishment to get a name as a place where men are killed such a waste let me get that sword oops wrong one okay where is the person i need to talk to oh who's she What's a clearly well brought up lady doing like you doing in such a place? Good question, I shall tell you. My father, a well known merchant here in Sagoth, decided that I should marry one of his business partners. A man well past the age of thirty. I've been an obedient daughter all my life, but it was ridiculous and a horror, so I ran away. I marry whom I want, when I want. Moreover, regardless of what my father want might think, I'm perfectly capable of thinking of taking care of myself. I was thinking I should join a j band of gypsies. Or perhaps a group of mercenaries. Huh. I'll take her. As it so happens, I run a company of mercenaries. I think most valuable addition to the ranks, I'm classic literature and play the loot. And I'm a skilled manager of household servants. Okay, so basically you're just saying you're good at being a noble. Okay. Good enough. Who am I to turn somebody away who wants to look for adventure? <laughs> She's already run away. She's already made up her mind. Splendid work. You have hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now... Travelers entering Sagath have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of town. I suspect that they are all from the same band. The one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them and make them disclose the location of their lair. Okay. Let's see. Very well, I shall hunt the bandits. Why don't you come with us? Because I'm paying you to take care of it. That's the short answer. The long answer is that I have some leads to follow up in town. I just have as much chance of getting knocked on my head as you. That's what you're asking. But I respect your question. Now what do you say? Okay. Very well. I'll hunt for the bandits. But that will be in our next episode as we are running out of time. Um, the follow up, what has happened um we basically made ourselves known benounced amongst the, uh benounced amongst the lords of the realm of this realm anyway um we just killed like two people so far only just the guy who attacked us in the streets this guy in the bar who uh decided to pull a knife on me um which was very unfair and we acquired this last here um, Yamara. And hopefully we could turn this into an interesting adventure and hopefully she doesn't get herself killed. Okay, until next time. I'll feed her Zane. <laughs>